What is it? What? You're anxious. Don't you read my mind? Well, considering the fuck up you just did. Uh, hey, hey, if it was not... Oh, oh, yes it was. Don't play dumb. You let the symbiote get away. You're gonna kill him. As I should. It's bad enough that I'm here. More of me. He could have been... He's a good... It does not matter. I know my kind. And they have no good intentions. Um, what about you? Well, the reason I am here is complicated. The matter is that we find this in my own and we dispose of it. Though, yes, it is my spawn that does not make us family. Well, he's my son too, and I want to take care of him. You're serious? Yes! I want to take care of... Carnage. Right. Still not use that name. It's accurate. Oh, boy, is it accurate. I still don't understand why... I told you before, we as some symbiotes can merge with anyone or anything we want and incorporate the, its DNA or characteristics into ourselves and future hosts. Not to mention, we get hungry. Luckily, we have to curb my appetite with our vigilante antics and chocolate. Not to mention that you, as you are, are a very kind and reasonable person. Let's just say the one that. Our son, Carnage, bonds with is not a calm and reasonable person. Ah, uh, I mean, he came from us and everything, so the reason why I am not ripping through this whole city on a Bloody binge is because I bonded to you and your mannerisms, though annoying, are very calming. What if Carnage finds himself bonded to a psychopathic, bloodthirsty, insane, devil may care criminal match the havoc someone can wreak with someone with our abilities slightly stronger what I told you before throughout the generations our offspring do get stronger I don't remember that Ugh. Humans. Either way, yes, nothing else. It can be very, very uh, dangerous. Would you be able to kill not only our son, but 
another person. Um, what? What do you think we've been doing as vigilantes? Why do you think villains who don't want to change have been going missing? You think we just send them straight to, you know, the great beyond or something? No, we... Why, why, why are you... Why are you what, what's that noise? You said we. You have fully accepted the fact that we are murderers. No. 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 We, we are not murderers. We are heroes. Vigilantes. Potato Potato. Yeah, except what we're doing is definitely not legal. <laughs> what I must say is about time you grew a pair. They're finally admitted the fact that you are a What was that? It, it sounded like it was from uh, the, the the window. No, no. <laughs> what floor are we on? Izuku turning his head and seeing a horrifying image of Rich. And this is when the glass shatters, and yeah, before you could even think about something venom for this uh, predicament, he finds this over in a carnage on top of him. Of course, Izuku is uh, shocked, to say the least. But if anything, uh, Shots him more. If I, he starts to slowly see that carnage is peeling back partially of his mask, showing Toga. Or if he can say anything else, yeah, he's quickly picked up and slammed against the wall. Uh, yeah, during the whole shock of being manhandled. And, such a way he does catch a faint phrase coming from the dynamic duo. We missed you, Daddy. I, uh, uh I'm sorry. What? Well, this is now the time when they shove their arms straight through Isuku's chest. Forcing him to cough up blood and forcing Venom to have to heal him. In this cut, which allows them to rip out Venom slowly. Sadly, Izuku is still in an enormous amount of pain. He only cling to what small pieces of Venom that still remain to heal him. And it's pretty much like, I told you so. I fucking told you so. That we should have killed this thing. This is when Izuku does use what little strength he does have to try and stop them. But he just gets shoved aside with them trying to explain. Don't worry. This will be all over soon. And then we can be together. And of course, Izuku seeing no choice in the matter, decides to use what little strength he does have left to run towards Carnage and headbutt them, telling them to let go of Venom and to be re entering into Izuku and getting healed, and they knock them out. Once Carnage and Toga do wake up, Izuku is pretty much looking all sorts of disappointed, which Carnage instantly catches on to, like, I think I'm in trouble. Toga, realizing 
It is you. You're the one that saved me. Zuko, not recognizing her, till Carnage does let him know that, yeah, apparently this is one of your fans. Venom just wanted to be included. So he, well, we have a lot of fans. You're going to be more specific. Go show him. As Toga does end up showing off the All Might band aid that Izuku did give her. Seeing that it's still unused, but it's like, yeah, there was only one person I actually gave that to, and that was the. Wait. I thought you. Then again. There's all blood on you before. That's why I gave you the band aid. But... Toga just being like, yeah, that blood wasn't mine. Oh. Oh! Wait! So. That villain I. We. Killed. Um. Oh. Then he just hears Venom you know, whimpering again. It's, just, it's so good to see that you're finally catching on to that word. Well, what we do. <clears throat> Either way, Carnage, please explain yourself. Why were you trying to kill us? What? No, 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 no. no, no. Please, uh, Dad, uh, expl let me explain. I, I wasn't trying to kill you. I was trying to kill Venom. You know, other Debbie Dad, you, you know? Oh. Oh. How dare you, you little... Venom. He has a point. You did try to kill him. As soon as he is born. Yes, and you see why. Still let me finish the job. No, you wanted to give him the benefit of the doubt. And look what happened. Yeah, he wanted to get his get back. So what? What? How did he block one of our... fans into this? Hmm. I will I will have to agree with him on that carnage you shouldn't have brought in an innocent person dad she she wanted to meet you what yeah I mean I didn't expect to run to someone who knew you but uh, you see I I I got a scent of your blood, and I thought you were hurt. So I followed it, and I saw <laughs> you there. But as soon as I, you know, tried bonding with you, because I didn't sense the deadbeat, I decided to, to merge with, uh, you know, her. What? So, uh, explaining ourselves like, remember when you, remember when you saved me, you got nicked on your, uh, your arm and uh, some small droplets of blood came out? Yeah. Well, I, um, I took it. Excuse me? <laughs> Yeah, I, I I took it. I'm 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 almost scared to ask why you would take my blood. It, I it's her quirk, Dad. It makes her ravenous when it comes to blood. It's in she's insatiable. What, what why? Remember what I said? I saw you. 
Oh, wait. No way. Yeah, my quirk allows me to transform into people of whose blood I consume. No. No way. Are you serious? If you want me to, to prove it to you, all I need is another taste. Izuku, more than happy to actually see this go down. Carnage. <laughs> You, she has more than she has more of your blood. You, you don't have to. Of course, Toga's a little pissed. Like, why are you cop blocking? It's like, mm. hey, it's weird enough. They have a thing for my dad. <sighs> I'm not going to let you abuse his kindness like that. Ugh. Fine. As yes, as soon as she does get a drop of Izuku's blood, <laughs> she does turn into Izuku slowly, but Izuku obviously notices, wow, you look exactly like me. I'm impressed. Wait, so, wait, why do you have my clothes? Yeah. And why are they why are they under yours? Oh yeah, because I usually have to be naked for this. What? Yeah. I oh oh my. Yeah, but in my defense, I'm usually covered in a clay like substance, so you know. Oh. Um, huh, are you curious to see if everything's anatomically correct? No. Of all the things, no, but don't, don't, add, don't do that, just, huh. But back to the po point about that blood that was on you not being yours, and being part of the... Huh. I guess that would make sense. When it comes to me and Venom, we don't usually leave scraps. Hmm. So you're saying when I spilled that smidgen of blood and you said it's nothing, you should just lick our lips and move on. Yep. Turns out that was because of her. Hmm. Wait, that's... Why are you wearing this? Uh, a school girl's uniform? Oh, these are basically the only clothes I have. What? Yeah. Can you explain? You can tell this whole backstory. The dulled down version. Noticing that Toga is... Sugar coating her experience. Carnage is like, don't you dare lie. I know everything about you now. Go lie to my dad. Tell him everything. Or I will. Of course, Togo, being the cocky bastard, decides to call his bluff. Which Carnage jumps into Izuku. Making it so, yeah, he knows the hell that was Toga's earlier years. Thing is, learning this. Oh my god, this is this is just awful. Him falling to his knees, wondering, oh my god, how could parents do this? To, it's bad enough. They told you to repress your natural. Impulses because of your quirk, but to just throw you under the bus. Man, some people should not be parents. Wait, you, you don't think I'm creepy? Scary? Weird? 
Oh, don't get me wrong. The, the quirk is unique. And yes, I can see why it would be scary, but you can't help that. I mean, you can't help the quirk you're born with. Really? Yeah. Hey, I don't judge you for your quirk. I'd rather judge you for your character. And considering... Oh, man, you, you have a trail of blood, don't you? Your history, don't you? Well, I... If anything, uh, I'm I'm gonna have to. As this is when Inko shows up. First, yeah, she was nervous when she heard a damn window break, but what really got her to want to see what's going on with her son is when she heard four voices instead of just one. So she walked in, and luckily she did only see Izuku and Toga. But seeing a broken window has her a little concerned. Toga, of course, she does end up wanting to try to silence Inko off of instinct. Izuku, yeah, he's not letting that happen. And he tries his best to explain why... Toga's here, as well as why uh, the window's broken. And luckily, since they are in the world full of damn superheroes, supervillains, and pretty much anything can happen. Yeah, he's like, just runs with the story of, yeah, she got lost control of her quirk a little bit. Nico wanted to know what this quirk was. Ziku was on. Um. Uh. You could say a transformation? Type quirk? Really? Yeah, yeah. A transformation. Of course. And you can imagine, Inko, she's. Skeptical. She wants a better explanation. So she does, and I was like, okay, I can believe that, but I'm gonna need some evidence. He's like, you're looking at Toga. Toga's like, okay. I guess I could show you. But you gotta probably something to freak out. Please. And of course. Izuku. Just love to take one for the team. He's up cutting his hands. He goes scared, but also shocked to see how Toga just lunges at Izuku. It's only when she notices she slowly starts to conform to Izuku's likeness. Plus, her clothes there. Inko's like, oh my god. That is... It's, um... Interesting. You're not going to freak out? No, of course not. You can't help the quirk you're born with. Wow. And then just look at him like, hmm, huh. that's your mom? Yep. I can see why you get where you get your kind nature from. Wow. Huh. So. If anything, Miss Midoriya, I don't really have anywhere to stay tonight. Do you think I could, um, um, no, uh, sail down here for a little bit? Um, uh, uh, sure. 
uh, I I have no problems with that. Just um, please don't stab me in, in the middle of the night. Of course, of course, we we have a deal, Miss Midoriya. As Izuku is getting ready for bed, he does notice that Toto is already on his bed. Inko looks and says, well, what do you think you're doing? I'm getting ready for bed. Not here or not. What? Why not? There's no way you're going to sleep next to my son. Why? What's the problem? Um, he's a boy, you're a girl, is it? Would it make it better if I turn to him before I go to sleep? Oh, oh god, oh god, no, oh, oh god. Oh no, oh no, 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 I don't need that visual. Oh my god, what have I done? There you go. Realizing the implications that would entail, especially given her seemingly sudden attraction to her son. No. Good lord, no, that would make us so much worse. What well, if I turn to you? Sleep on the couch. Please? I. I am begging you, sleep on the couch. I, I don't know how much of this my heart can take. Izuku, obviously noticing the uncomfortableness, decides that I'll take the couch. She can sleep in my room for tonight. Ugh. Let's just get this whole weird day over with. Wait, what about the window? I'll fix it. Just... Uh, I just need some sleep. Uh, uh, uh. No, good night, Venom. Yeah, good night. I still think you should let me kill Carnage. Whatever happens... Do this weird union of theirs is going to be on your ass. You know that, right? I'm fine with it. I'm pretty sure I can find some way to make it work. Now, there's Kipacho Izuku waking up after a very interesting day. When he does wake up, he does know suddenly. Venom is yelling like hell. Also, the fact that he's in his room. What makes it worse is that he sees that Carnage is pretty much slashing and trying to eat Venom. While on his side, he notices that Toga is hugged up next to him with a straw. And uh, this is when he notices that straw is actually connected uh, to his body. Which has a interesting new slash mark. As you can imagine, he's obviously freaked out. But he does end up scolding Carnage and Toga, saying that we were supposed to be sleeping in the living room on the couch. Plus, the fact that, what would my mom say she saw us right now? Uh, but this is when he notices, huh, my room has a weird tint to it now. Seeing that it's all red, first she's worried, wait, is this blood? Is this my blood? Until he sees that it's pulsating, he's like, wait, this is carnage. Did you soundproof my room using Carnage? Yes. Why? So your mom wouldn't hear the yelling? 
and come in. Okay, go up <clears throat> as much as I do appreciate you coming forward with my son and everything. You, you, you can't just cut people and, you know, drink their blood. Why not? You have to ask at least. What? 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 What's wrong? Venom's like, are you serious? Even Karn is... You're saying if she asked you beforehand, you would let her drink your blood? I, uh, I, um, I mean, it, at the very least, it, it's common courtesy to at least ask before you do something that involves more than one person. Venom's just looking at Carnage and looking at Toga and Danny Zuko like, I give up. I give up. Just, just kill me. Eat me. Whatever. Burn me. Just blast me off into space again because this host is weird. He is too accepting for some reason. I don't get it. I don't know how I found him. Oh, wait. Never mind. I do remember how. But still, he is weird. Oh yeah, she, she's just so happy to see that. Yeah, Zuku, though knowing her problematic antics and mannerisms, she is accepted by him. But this is when there's a knock on the door and he goes asking if Izuku was in there. And of course they have to tell her. Yeah, she is, uh, kind of using Izuku as a blood bag. You go so horrified to hear that. She's even more horrified to find that Izuku says, hey, if she asks, maybe I, I'd be more fine with it. They're wondering, where did I go wrong in raising you? Why are you like this? Why are you so... <sighs> Man, this... Ugh, you getting a quirk has changed you. I don't know. I don't know what the hell's happened, but you, you, you changed as soon as you've gotten this quirk. Ugh. Well, either way, uh... It's time for you to get ready for, you know, school. You go just seeing the murderous aura that's coming off of him. He goes like, what school? Where, where is he going that I cannot follow him? Ah. Uh, Toga. That's right. Carnage didn't tell you this. But I'm going to UA. Really? Well, oh, so am I. What? Yeah. But, but you're not. Oh, what? What's the problem? What's the worst that could happen? Um, you're not student. I am today. What? She breaks the damn window again and goes like, I give up. I, I, I just give up. This this is getting too weird and with the world we live in, it, that's saying something. Her just shutting the door. He's like, oh. She's totally going to end up Kidnapping someone is she? Oh, you know she is. Is it going to have to go with them to go get Koga and Carnage and rein them in? It's a lot easier said than done. Because thanks to Carnage and 
Toga's stealth, they're able to easily blend in with other people. In fact, since Carnage is a symbiote which does increase the user's base abilities, yeah, it doesn't take nearly as much blood for her to really, you know, turn into somebody. In fact, it's a lot easier considering Carnage can make super precise thin needles that you'll probably just think was a mosquito bite. And you can only imagine how pissed Izuku really is like, oh, she's, she's a bad influence on my boy. What? Our boy. Nope, nope, you lost that privilege. What? Yes, you lost that privilege. Literally, as soon as you tried to kill him. Fair point, fair point, yeah. Might not be father of the year. But, at the very least, I am partially responsible. If I had told you what I was going to do, we wouldn't be having this problem. It would have been dealt with. For that, I apologize. That is one of the worst apologies I've ever heard. You know that, right? Well, all I can say is, mm -hmm. there they are. As yes, they find a, a very interesting scene. So, uh, actually, he disguised as a very interesting character. Ends up kidnapping someone, one of the guys of. Knowing a new place to hang out. Izuku was like, oh man, is she, is she really kidnapping a toddler? Uh, if anything, I'm more surprised she didn't go with someone more inconspicuous. I mean, look at that mohawk. Those mm, grape like balls on his head. It, of all the people, uh, Try to, hmm, I'm just saying, it's kind of weird that she would choose some, someone who will more than likely stand out. Eh, oh well, we know where they are, we know who they're trying to be, so let's get down to business. When they do end up <laughs> catching Toga in the act, of course, it's Mineta, who she's kidnapped. Mineta, being a dumbass, is, is trying to tell Izuku to buzz off. But it's only when he notices the tendrils coming straight at his body, he's like, never mind, save me! Izuku, of course, in, is up fighting with Carnage. And Toga, even though he does end up winning, narrowly, they do have to explain to Mineta that what happened. The best excuse they have is pretty much this was all fake and it was just part of a interesting sideshow. Of course, Mineta doesn't buy it for a bit. Especially when he notices that he's who's wearing the same uniform as him. He does bring it up like, okay, so you're a part of your way as well? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I own you now. What? Well, if you don't want me to expose you or your... Wait, why were you going to kidnap me? As then Toga does end up losing her disguise, just to, 
it's still the fact that she's still wearing clay. It's more reddish now. And Mineta, of course, can't handle such stimulation and passes out due to a nosebleed. Izuku, of course. Okay. Maybe I shouldn't have saved this guy? Huh. Uh, actually, yeah, maybe, maybe I should have to kidnap him. <laughs> well, it's too late now. All we can do is hope that he doesn't get any uh, funny ideas. Hmm. But still, I want to go to school with you. Fine. Fine, whatever. Um... But not him. It, it's it's already weird enough. Huh. But hmm. Okay. Well, look for someone who won't stand out so much. Someone people will easily forget, and no one will suspect unless you tell them. Oh, um, okay, so, who's it gonna be? We're going to find out as soon as I get to school. Phew. Alright, if anything, I guess, to keep you on, from, uh, going on the rampage, uh, I guess you can just turn and just wait, 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 wait. That's it. What's it? Turn to me. Really? Well, not me, me, but a different kind of me. Explain. Well, until we find you a new person to impersonate. Carnage, how good is your mimicry? Of course, I can do pretty much everything Dad would be able to do. It's just slightly better considering I am a little stronger and her quirk works perfectly. Okay. What if you turn her into a gender bit version of me with her quirk. What? What? Oh. That, that, that's, that's actually very interesting. <laughs> but, you know why I'm going to need a little something first. Her slamming her hands is a damn brick wall. <laughs> And Izuku right between between her arms. Yeah, of course Toga leaves, leaves her lips and goes in for a bite on the neck. She's in pure euphoria. Euphoria. Well, Izuku is having mixed feelings. Because as Toga is transforming, once she's done and got enough blood to really stay in that form, He's, he's even staring at a female version of him with the most ravenous yet lustful look in her eyes. And of course, Izuku's like, Why is this. Why does this feel wrong? I swear, if you even think any more about what you're thinking, I will fit you myself. Hey, 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 I understand. I understand what you're saying, but you can't deny I, I look hot. Starting to really regret having you as a host. 
<sighs> Seriously, I why why is this have to be so weird? When they do get to UA, of course Izuku and Toga do get some looks. They, especially considering Izuku is quite built, and there's a very lovely looking female version of him walking arm in arm alongside him. Which, of course, can only lead, uh, lead to some speculations when they do make it into class 1A. Yusugu isn't surprised to see Baku go. And <laughs> this is when he does notice Aizawa. First he's thinking, okay, maybe him, considering he's sleeping. But then realizes, oh wait, no, that won't work. He's a teacher and pro hero. As he starts scanning everyone, he completely overlooks Hagakari. And as soon as he's a, hmm, an invisible person, that could work. But then he completely s says, hell no, because they're how dangerous that could be for Toga to mimic. And then he looks at someone he knows is like, huh. Who, uh, who is that? As he just walks right up to Ayama. And of course, Ayama saying the duo is like, uh, um, hi? Trying to be as uh, calm as can be, considering he's pretty much uh, getting eyeballed by two Intimidating, yet nobody good looking individuals. Though he does in up a, you can say, calming down, it's still the fact that they are eyeballing him. Until I was like, okay, you're not supposed to be here, you can go. And even though Toga is pissed, as soon as the hair starts floating, Izuku does cry chopper in the head. Thunder, okay, sis, you can go now. Her feeling, like, oh, oh, so so that's what you're into. What? No, wait, 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 wait. that's not what I meant. So yep. Yeah. I must say, I'm actually surprised. Don't make this something it's not. Please. As before the do part ways, Toga does embrace Izuku and kiss him a kiss on the cheek. And you can imagine, everyone was like, what the fuck? But this is when he does forget. Bakugo was here, and he knows you don't have a sister. So, of course, he's wondering, who the hell is she? He's a girl. Ah. She's a friend. He just called her sister. Don't bullshit me. She's a... A real good friend. We've been friends since we were kids. Don't you lie to me. This when, when did you meet her? And why does she look like you, but the different equipment? Uh, uh -huh. This is when Mineta just starts eyeballing Izuku. Like, wait a minute. I feel like I know... <laughs> Him from somewhere. Oh, trying to remember that. It was. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> As you can see, that big old smile on his face is like, don't make me have to get rid of you. 
But then, of course, he gets a nosebleed and passes out due to blood loss. Of course, Apple hits this. Of course, Izuku does great. Falco is still pissed about that Izuku has a quirk. Also, he can't do anything about it. Izuku has to try his best not to really show off the whole <laughs> Venom <laughs> ensemble. But if anything, he does know something off about Ayama. Much to the point where, yes, when he and Toga are about to jump him, when he does use his, his quirk, he knows his... Yeah, that's not your quirk, is it? Uh, what are you talking about? Don't play doing with me that you obviously were given a quirk. Well, I. I. Uh, how would you know that, possibly? Venom? Let's have a little chat with our friend here. As yes. Izuku learns that Ayama is the daggum traitor. So, huh? Who's all for one? Huh? I can't believe it. he gave you a quirk, man. Boy, I met him first. I would. Then again, he's a villain. And he would have threatened me and family, and I. Yeah, I can't stand for that. So, um, Ayama, I'll make you a deal. Drop out. Wait, what? I, I, I can't. Izuku, I, we can't have him drop out, you know that. How else am I going to take his place? What? Yeah. That very thing is going to be kind of inconvenient. You're right. What the hell? I guess we're going to have to bump up what I have planned here. I'm sorry? It's obvious from what we gather with your memories that this awful one is threatening your and your family. So, if anything, we are here to help. What? Yes. The four of us are going to help you. What do you mean by four? As then they do don their <laughs> full on suits. I am instantly realizing, oh my god, you're the vigilante. And now there's a red one? It's like, holy oh, yes. And then there's. A... Now come here, my little blood bag. Huh? Wait, 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 wait. There's another way. <laughs> Explain. Uh, like, uh, what year are you in? Like, uh, how old are you? Oh, I'm... Oh. Right, right. That's right. I forgot. Excuse me. You think it was one of your, what, what do you mean you forgot? What'd you forget? Heck, I'm... I'm uh, a bit older than you. So, if anything, I could transfer in to UA. Since I'm technically not in high school, all I gotta do is pass the test and whatever. What? Yeah, so, I no, I don't have to... You know, kidnap anybody. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? Yeah, I don't have to kidnap anybody. 
Sorry. What the hell? We almost committed yeah, how many crimes? Not that many. You're right. It was just kidnapping, impersonation. We know. I did any theft. What? Um, not to mention his parents. Uh, and then think about their boss uh, all for one. So, well, then again, he is a villain, so. I don't see you taking them out as much of a bad thing. Huh. You're not wrong. But, you gotta think. How far were you really gonna go for me? Isuku blushing. Toga also was like, You were gonna commit crimes for me. That's so sweet. Ugh. Well, if anything, as we made this fall, we might as well kill him. What? I uh, changed my mind. I like her. Gibbs on the brain. Venom? Ah, <sighs> Togo can't kill him. His family will die. What? Bonus? Heck, if anything, he'll be more. nothing more than an appetizer. Joga, we can't. Yes, we can. Okay. Here's the thing. You want to transfer into UA. We may have to be in the same class because of. Duh! You forgot to mention your age. I thought you were the same age as me. I think you were older. <sighs> Huh. I it just slipped my mind. No, oh, you just wanted to be in the same class as me. Ugh, let's see. So how am I gonna Ah, I, I know exactly how to do it. Explain. Well we're going to UA again. This time when someone asks you a question, you just say that your hair was dyed. But I like this hair. Uh, you'll still have your blonde hair. It'll just it'll just tell people you dyed it green. At least, at very least, then it won't be so weird the fact that you kissed me. But it's good. I really, really want to be in your class. Are you sure we just can't? So I will fight you on this. We cannot do that. Even though he is a traitor. If anything, we could use him. Hmm. Yeah, we can definitely do that. And also, all we need to worry about that damn Manetta. Who, who's who's that? The, the damn grape grape juice perv. The one you almost kidnapped first time. The one that you made pass out because of your quirk deactivation. Okay. Oh well, yeah, yeah, we can do that. Hmm. I still think it would be best to get rid of him. Trust me. There's nothing we can really do to him that won't fall back on us in a way. At the very least, we can make sure that he and his family are safe. At least from, uh, all for one. Unfortunately, first we're going to need some more quirks. 
What do you mean? Well, when it comes to the gathering genetic material to build up our strength, I mainly been going after, you know, strength based quirks. You know, something that won't really raise much suspicion. You know, enhancement types and strength based ones, those those are the ones I usually go for. So what you're saying is everyone you eat does not automatically mean you gain their power? No, I mean I could, but if anything me getting a quirk after a lot happening is I'm trying to be as inconspicuous as possible. Okay. So what's the plan?